Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea here. How are you? I've not been too well. I've got a bit of a bad throat and I'm losing my voice. But I'm still going to try and do a colouring chat. Now I did ask you in the last one which one would you like to see me colouring? It was either this one or fairy tales. Excuse me, I'm just banging the camera. And I had requests for both. So I had one request for the sweet shop and one request for uh, fairy tales. So I'm going to do a colouring chat in the sweet shop. We'll do this one, one in this book and then we'll do one in fairy tales because why not? So I'm going to be using my Arteza markers, but just to be on the safe side, I've also got my Touch News as well. Just in case. So there's pretty much every colour you could possibly want in these Artezas. Although I do really need to get skin tones, so I'm just going to open this up. And I should have got that ready first. I've got my orange juice. I've got my markers. I've got my gel pens because the one I'm doing, I need some gel pen. The only thing I need now is my colour chart, my swatch. I've got my orange juice. And we'll get going in a second. So, just a quick disclaimer: this is an adult colouring and chat channel. Um, well, it's a hobbies channel. We do mostly colouring chats and colouring book-related things for adults as a form of relaxation um, and anti-stress. <laughs> um, it's in not in any way, shape or form intended for or made for children. So we're going to do one from the Sweet Shop colouring book illustrated by Chris Price and we are going to do this one which is um, Zabel's Fine Gold Medal Pralines. Only the very best quality. So we've got the chocolates, which can be different colours. There will be brown, there will be white and cream. Um, I don't know what this is around the edge. It's a bit of paper, I believe. And then we've got these Celtic knotworks, which we're going to do um, with the um, gel pens. And I can't speak today. So I'm going to try and use lighter colours for this one. As you can see, I've got my swatch book. I haven't planned anything other than we're going to use the, the gel pens for the gold and some green. Uh, but I think we'll go with a very light colour. Um, black. So we use clear water, which is very, 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 very pale just for the background on the box. So let's zoom in and we'll come up here. So how have you been? I'm fine. After all the palaver with the uh, Colour in Heaven picture and comments. It was very hurtful but I suppose it's what happens. Uh, um, personally, I, like I said, I don't think it matters if you go outside the lines. Like I said, when I was a kid, it would bug me and I would scribble over a picture if I made a single mistake. But now I know that you can cover it with other things. You can, it's, it's the way it is. And this is that I don't seem relaxed because I go fast. Well, let's be honest. You don't want to see me just colouring the same thing for like an hour. You want me to see to see me doing different bits. So yeah, maybe I do. And another reason I go fast is that if you want to blend with markers, you need to do it while they're still wet. So, but there you go. It is what it is. I want to say hello to all my lovely new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. I am very, very happy to have you here. And uh, yes, I find it very nice. I, I, I do love it when people subscribe. I don't get upset when people unsubscribe anymore. I guess I used to, but you can't please everybody. And I know that there were some people who subscribed to me when I was purely booktube and now I'm mostly colouring. Although obviously I do do the weekly vlog. I'm doing one at the moment, the end of this week. 
up. If I go quiet, it's just because of my throat. My th it's a bit sore. It's not too bad, but it is a bit sore. Um, Jennifer's got a cold again. But with me, it's not so much a cold. I'm a bit sniffly, but it is mostly just my throat. And it, it is a, a bad cough. I, I just, I'm fed up with coughing, I am. But it will pass. And it's not gone onto my chest this time, which is a flipping relief, I can tell you. Because I get fed up with it going on my chest because, because of my asthma, that like, means I'm laid up then for a week off work, which they don't like obviously because then I'm not doing my job so I did have today off I'm filming this on Tuesday I am back in tomorrow I had today off to, to rest the voice a bit which I have and I do feel better as it's not right it's still not clear but it's definitely better and then I'm in tomorrow because I couldn't get tomorrow off too many people off but I have got Thursday and Friday off so Thursday I booked off again just to try and kick this on the head and to pot around the house doing things you really can't see any colour going on can you there is because I'm using a grey but it is a very very pale grey I just need to do down here This is a lovely book. So I'm just doing this bit under here. peach now for these bits where the writing is. Let's use the chisel for now. Let's <laughs> pull that down and we'll do this top corner to start with. So how are you? What are you all colouring? Are you colouring anything exciting? So I've got some good videos coming up soon. I've finally got my WH Smith's review, pencil review, almost finished. Well, I say almost finished, it is finished. I've just got to film the conclusion, what I think of them, and my plans for them in the future. And then I've got um, my complete colouring book collection. That video is coming very soon. It's filmed. It's ready to, I've just got a uh, render it together, edit it together and convert it for YouTube. I've also got my every page I've ever coloured up until January 2020. That's filmed, just needs to be edited together. I will be colouring in a grayscale book with markers very soon because I'm, as you know I've always said I'm not really keen, this is quite grayscale, but I'm not keen on grayscale so um, but it is a proper grayscale book and it's Jade Summer's Chibi Girls grayscale uh, the double book, the two books in one so we're going to be colouring in that one soon and then it'll be time to do my what I think a fine line is uh, one and I'll be colouring in Lost Ocean that one's probably not going to happen until February though. Um, they, some of them probably won't be out to February because we are on the, the uh, 28th. Yeah, 28th today. But uh, they're filmed, they're in the can. I've just got to do the editing, so. 
this one will be first so I can get this one up for you and then it will be a complete one. I'm thinking of doing a reading wrap up at the end of every month. Just let you know what I've been reading and what I think of the books. Um, to be honest, I've only finished four books anyway, so it'll be a very short video. But, you know, it, it's in keeping with my love of, of books and hobby. I'm never going to go back to doing booktube the way I did, not for a long time. Um, I just don't have the time to, to read as much because Jennifer wants my attention all the time. Yes, I could sit there and read now, but I quite like to uh, do my colouring and relax colouring. I do read, I read in bed some nights and sometimes I sit and read on the sofa after Jennifer's gone to bed if perhaps I'm not in the mood to colour because sometimes you're not. <coughs> oh that cough, it's quite a painful cough. But it is what it is. So I've hardly done anything and we're 11 minutes in already. But there we go. I'm tired this cough and this cold is making me very 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 tired but um, <coughs> as you can see <coughs> I'm doing my best I've got a glass of orange juice here so I can have a good drink Now, covering. So, I don't think this is going to be particularly interesting for the time being while I'm doing these big bits. <clears throat> but I thought we could have a chat. So, there will be a very small haul this month, and it is very small because I haven't had a lot of money. Because, um, as you know, I'm trying to save the majority of them well, all the money that comes in from my eBay store at the moment. Because I'm saving up so I can give up the day job at some point, I hope. But I still want to keep Jennifer in nursery at least two days a week because she loves it. It's good for her socialisation. Teaches her how to, you know, interact with other people really. So I don't want to take her out of there. So I do need to make sure... I earn enough money to cover that and my basic bills such as the car insurance which is not cheap. Anybody who drives a car knows cars aren't cheap. Um, so I'm trying to build up my savings and of course if anything goes wrong with the car then I've got money to spend on it. Um, Christmas I'm actually going to be starting my Christmas shopping as soon as I can. I am not going to end up the way I did last year, which is, um, and that is partly due to the problem with the car, I'm not going to end up in the same position of having no money in January next year, whether I'm, I've left work or whether I'm still at the office for the time being. So I'm saving all of it. Obviously some of it has to go away for tax purposes. And that's fine. I do not have a problem with that because I'm happy to pay my way with the tax man. Obviously on my main job at the moment I don't pay any tax because I'm under the tax threshold. But obviously with the bonus I get and my eBay, of course it can go over the tax threshold and probably will. But I already put part of my profits away for that. And I know that if I give up work, the chances of me actually paying tax on any earnings is, is low. Um, because in order to pay tax, I would have to earn a profit of 12250 a year so I don't earn that now so I know that on on my main job so I know I can manage financially 
on my part-time hours. Obviously, if I could get it up to a full-time income, that would be nice, but that would take a lot more work than I'm putting in at the moment. Because, of course, <coughs> I'm only putting in a few hours a week. I mean, I'm probably putting in, if I think about it, possibly an hour a day. It's hard to say. I mean, tops is about an hour a day. Because some days I don't do anything. You know, I'll have a day off and I might spend 20 minutes photographing it. 20 minutes listing and then maybe um, some time packing and that's about it really. Okay. So, yeah. So it's very hard to see if it's covered evenly. This paper is, it's very nice paper actually. It looks good though. I'm going to go back to that very light grey I had, which was called clear water. For doing in this bit here. Yeah, I mean, I posted on Monday, I posted seven items. Today I posted five. I've had another two sales today. I'm not posting tomorrow. My next post day will be on Thursday when I go to my usual Thursday sale. I bought five items today including a phase eight top for 50p. Everything was 50p, I spent £2.50. Now I don't list them for very high high money. But so I'm happy to make a fiver on that if necessary. Obviously if it's a good label, like obviously phase eight is quite a good label, that'll have a higher starting price. But I will take offers and I have been taking offers because some of the stuff that's been hanging around, I'm happy to get rid of for four quid. Because it's, you know, it's better to keep it ticking over and have new stock coming through. Going shopping in Newport on Saturday. So obviously that'll be in the weekly vlog. Um, the idea with that is I can, Paul's got a cheque to bank. Um, yes, people still do use cheques. Not very many people. I don't even have a checkbook, but some people still use them. And um, so he's got a check to bank. And I've got, I can go to the charity shop then. There's a pound charity shop and I've got some good stuff in there in the past. So I'm quite looking forward to, to that. It's been a while, so. looks quite nice that pale peach. I'm just going to put a bit in here. This will take a couple of uh, videos I think because it's very, especially as we get down here, it's very detailed. So I'm going to stop with those for now and we're going to go on to the gel pens for a second because I'm going to do some of this detail up here. Actually, I think I will do a bit more in that pale peach for a second. Where is it? That, that's here. And that's just this bit at the top here and around the top edge. Which you can't see because you're not on the screen. Uh, by that I mean this bit here. By these sunbursts. Onto the thick one for this bit. It's about right. Yeah. 
Here's hard to know what to do on these. Excuse me, I've just got a bit of wind. There we go, that'll do that. I'll probably use that again at the bottom here. A um, bit more grey. Clear water. Is that what it's called? Yeah, clear water. It's a lovely colour. But it is a grey. I'm just going to pop it down in here. Can you see that? No, you can't. I'm just popping it down in this bit. See that? Um, and there's a little bit this side as well. Okay, now we're moving on to the gel pens. So let me go away for a little bit. Find some gels. I've got tons of gel pens and we are just using the glitter. I'm looking for a particular colour. If I can find it. Where is it? There is that one. Hmm, there's not much left in there, but hopefully that'll be enough. And I did want a gold one, but I don't think there's enough in that one. I don't think there's enough in that one. I want orange gold. Considering my thing is completely full, I have got a lot more gel pens anyway. So, just wondering which one's got the most in it. I'm going to do the writing in a sort of a brown um, glittery. So yes, eBay's been going okay. So I have listed two of my own personal games uh, on there for my personal games collection, computer games. Um, it's a game called, well there's two on, I've listed them as a, a bundle. And they're for the PlayStation 2 and it's a game called, um, well in the UK it was called Project Zero. In Japan, it's a Japanese game, it was called Zero. And in America, it was called Fatal Frame. And it's a very popular game. It's very, it's quite, it's not, I wouldn't say it's very scarce, but it didn't sell billions of them. It sold, I think there's been five of them in the series. Um, but four onwards is just for the Nintendo only, for the Wii and then the Wii U. Um, so, oops, sorry. Um, number three, I have I've never seen, and it is the most, the rarest. But even though there's five in the, the series, they've they've sold about 1.3 million copies. Probably a bit more than now, but not a huge amount really. Um, and I've got Project Zero and Project Zero Two Crimson Butterfly. Um, I've never completed them. They're too bleeding scary. I'm not gonna lie. They are, I don't know what it is, but the Japanese are so good at creating really scary atmospherics that it is, it is a very, very scary game. Even just watching the intro when you play as the one character who's not in it till the end. Um, basically, you play this girl who's looking for her brother and at the beginning you play the brother. It is so flipping scary. The atmosphere is brilliant. And basically, you're in this haunted mansion trying to find out where your brother is. And you've got this camera. You find it's your brother. Well, it was your mother's camera and she gave it to your brother and he's dropped it because he's gone missing. And you're searching for him. But this camera can take photographs of ghosts. And what happens is the ghosts attack you. Not all of them, but some of the ghosts attack you and try and kill you. And if you shoot them with the camera, it drains their energy. It comes from that old um, legend that some cultures have where they think if uh, you take a photograph of them, it steals part of their soul. That was the idea behind it. And so you have to shoot these while you solve the puzzles and collect objects to solve what happened in the mansion and, and stop it from happening again and all that. That's the first one anyway. Um, 
but it is very atmospheric it's very gruesome it's not it's not gruesome in the sense that there's a lot of blood and gore but some of the cut scenes uh where you see what has happened in the past are quite horrible they're quite horrific but it's scary in a heart pounding way um which i like i just don't find gore scary it's just okay it's horrible but it's not scary it's like saw. It was. That's not scary. That's just gruesome. And I'm not saying I didn't enjoy the first saw film because I did. I watched it and I quite enjoyed it. But I don't really need to see any more because I wasn't that impressed with it. It was all right. I don't know what the fuss is to be honest. But that's just me. And uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion. And if you like it, great. Fair play to you. I personally prefer ones which make your heart race and actually scare the bejesus out of you, which I think Project Zero as a game does. It is absolutely terrifying. Um, the ghosts can jump out at you and it, that makes me jump. Um, in fact, I had it on the other day, I was testing it the other day, I was, I was in two minds as to whether to list it and I've thought about it before. And I was playing it and I had it on and oh my god I got so scared within the first 10 minutes I'd turn it off and I thought nah I'm selling it I can't play this game I'm never going to finish it. And apparently when they made the second one they actually toned down how scary it was because they wanted people to complete it because people weren't completing the, um, the first one apparently. So I read. Um, but yeah, brilliant, very atmospheric. So I've listed those. So if they sell, they're listed quite high because the, the second one particularly is selling for around 45 quid. Yeah, I know. Um, that if they sell, I will, because it's not a business one, it's a personal sale. I thought, what if they do? I'm going to treat myself to the Everblend skin tone markers and some new colouring books, not that I need anymore. Alternatively, I may put the money towards getting some more Artesas or Tezza, or however you want to pronounce it. Their commercial says Tezza, to be honest, uh, products. So I do want to get all the other blends, and that does include the set of greys, even though 12 of them, I believe, are in the other blend set, because I want to have the complete set of markers. Um, I also want to get the pencils to see what they're like because I've heard good things. Um, and what else? I want. Oh, I want the twine mark. I want more. But at the moment, I'm happy with my Everblend markers. Although the rate I'm using them, I'm going to be running out of them before long, and I'm going to be like thinking, how can I replace them? But there you go. Like everything, it's new, so I'm using it a lot. There we go. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Zabel's Fine Gold Metal Pralines. Batteries go in. We're at 28 minutes. I'm going to stop, change the battery and come back. Won't be a second. There we go. My camera strap is getting so tangled up. I'm going to have to sort it out soon. It is ridiculous. Okay. I'm going to use a slightly different brown-ish colour now. Put it down here. It's very similar but it's just slightly more orange. So we've done nearly 30 minutes already and we've hardly touched it. So, yeah, that's my plan if those games sell. I'll get myself some the flesh tones all the earth tones, flesh earth tones, they call them skin tones um, set and then I will uh, get some colouring books as well but obviously they haven't sold yet so it, it could take months or it could take a week it really depends I haven't done my listings for today but I have got stuff to list today I've got some games I just need to put the photos on I'm going to do that and then tomorrow I've got clothes um, and I've still got some list clothes listing to do so tomorrow night I won't be filming because I'm hoping I'll have enough in the can to give me a night off 
although there is still one I want to do. Two. But uh, I might have a night off tomorrow and do it on Friday instead. No, Thursday, sorry. Is it Thursday night instead of Wednesday tomorrow? I keep thinking it's wish it was Thursday tomorrow because I wouldn't be going to work. And, uh, There's that one. Looks nice, doesn't it? Uh, we will use this one and hopefully there'll be enough in it to go around where I want it to. Um, so. I really like these pens. These were from Lidl's. They haven't had them in since. I do keep looking every time they have their stationery stuff in just to see if they have any gel pens come in. They haven't had any for ages. Which is a shame. Yes, I think I will do that as well. I'm just going to go, you can't see me doing it because I'm doing it on this round like that. Yeah, that looks fine. So, oh yeah, I've got some steaming to do. I got some photographing because I sorted out my wardrobe and I got some stuff out of my wardrobe I'm going to list. That'll just go through as business. That'll go in my business account, so. It's, it's some of it, so. It's just, it's not that it's old. Um, they are a few years old, but they're not, they're in such good condition, it seems a shame to throw them away. Yeah, so trying to get some money saved, see if it works. But like I said, I'm starting Christmas as soon as I can. So um, Jennifer's still too young to ask for much. So next Christmas, I fully expect her to be saying, I want this, I want this, I want this, because she'll be nearly three. But I mean, obviously I'm not gonna get her main presents although I will save money for them. But for instance, this stocking, I can get her stocking fillers throughout the year. So, you know, she loves Twirly Woos and Moon and Me and In the Night Garden. So I can get her some of the stuff from that. Get her some colouring books. Get her some new felt pens and some stuff like that. She loves anything to do with pens and drawing. They said even at nursery when they're doing the registration, she's trying to get into the pens. She does love them. But as I said, it's because she sees me colouring. And the lady said, oh, do you do colouring, do you? I went, oh yeah, I do proper, proper colouring, adult colouring. And I mentioned I had a YouTube channel, so she said she might take it and check it out. So if you're there, hello. You can't see what I'm doing again. I'm hopeless at that. I'm so caught up in what I'm actually doing. Gosh, we've been going nearly 40 minutes. We've hardly coloured any of this. Not that it matters, because we can take as long as we want. I've got some other pictures on the go. I'm, I'm colouring 
myself which you will see hopefully at the end of month if I finish it in time um, I'm hoping to, it shouldn't take too much longer um, a Deborah Muller picture which is from Little Sweetheart I got it because I'm a member of the group and she gives free downloads um, and it's one of those that I've got so there's that, looking rather nice so far yes, I like this so far so, I'm wondering what colours should I use next? I think we need a bit of... I've done grey there. It's just sometimes you look at it and you, you can't see it. Now I want a proper gold. So I'm going to use the Link Shine for this bit now. And we're going to do this. Now, I'm not worried about... As you can see, there's not much left in this pen. I'm not worried about running out of this one because guess what? I have got another set of these in my drawer. So if it runs out, I can just go and get it and carry on. I do want to use up some of my gel pens that I've got here, my glitter gel pens, because I've got even more glitter gel pens and gel pens. Because I tend not to use the normal ones I only really use the glitter ones, which is why I've started buying the Link Shines, because they are just the glitters. So, which is perfect. Um, but I've still got a bag of non-glittery gel pens. Now, to be fair, I have used them, but I don't use them that much. Because I just don't. But I keep my glitters in a separate a pencil case. And that pencil case is absolutely rammed. And I am trying to use them up and throw away the ones I'm, you know. But I'm just not. It's just not using them up properly. See now, as you can see, this actually goes into this Celtic knotwork at the bottom. So I'm not actually going to do that bit yet. I will do it very soon, but not yet. <laughs> Just because it's quite uh, detailed. I just want to get the rest of this done first. Whoops. Oh dear, I'm colouring like a seven-year-old again. You're not going to let that go, are you, Ant? <laughs> this is relaxing now. I'm enjoying this. And I love using the gel pens. That's why I do so many patterns, because they're so easy to do, especially if you're using gels. Especially the glitter ones like these. It just looks so pretty. So, yeah. I just need to drink, my throat is so sore. <sighs> Ooh. Oh. We're not going to do much more because it is getting on. We've been going. I would say 50 minutes, just nearly an hour, which is crazy. I don't think we have not done that much. 
do you know what I mean? We haven't done that much. Well, it doesn't feel like we have. I'm just going to go in there a minute. So we're still using this lovely gold. Like I said, I've got another one of these if I need it. And I've got some other golds as well. Just gonna colour this bit in. this bit here now. Probably going to end up covered in glitter pen. And like I said, I'm not really worried if I run out of this because I have got another one. And like I said, the packet of 10 was only £3. And they don't take long to arrive. So all that will happen is when I start getting near the end of the next gold or the next red, because the red is one of the ones I use a lot of as well, I'll, um, I'll just order another packet. So you might see those in the halls quite a bit. those bits of different gold and the top of different yellowy gold this bit can be gold <laughs> oh dear we've hardly done anything so I think this one is going to take a while my darlings so, but it is quite a detailed book to be honest, there's a lot of details in it. So if I was to follow this now round, can you see that? No. If I follow this first. <coughs> one round. I hope it actually makes sense. And carries through all the way. Because if it doesn't, I'm going to be really peed off for actually doing this. At the moment, it is working, though it is following round. I think I might have to find the... Um... Oh, hello, this comes up here. And there it goes. It ends there, lovely. Ah, nice, okay. And then we'll do the other side and then we'll decide what other colours to do these knots. I mean, I could do it all gold or I could put some green or red in um, or some blue. Let me know what you, th you th think I should do with these, the rest of these knots. Because obviously this one's come through in this. Should, it, should I do all the big thick ones in the gold and then a different colour for the thinner knots? That's what I'm thinking at the moment. Let me know what you think. So I'm just going to finish this bit of gold and then we'll have a look at what we've done. And uh, we'll wrap it up. Here it goes. Can you see that? There we are. So we're just coming here. Well, that one actually goes there. That's, well, well, yeah, I probably will do all the thick knot work in gold, but I think that'll do for today because I'm knackered. Excuse me. So I'm just going to show you what we've done. So as you can see, it's quite a big box of pralines. <laughs> 
There's only 12 chocolates actually in the bloody box. The box is massive though. So we've got this lid, which we're doing, and then we've got the box. So, so far we've only done this top part and we've done the edging. So we've got Zabel's Fine Gold Medal Praline. So let me know what you think I should do with the rest of the knot work. I'm still thinking gold. Because um, we always use different colours down here. Probably use gold on the very bottom. But there's no reason why this can't be like uh, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue, green. Let me know what you think. So that's it for today's colour and chat. It's been a long one. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've got to put all the pens away now. Um, if you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to, to share the video with your friends. Um, leave me a comment, let me know what you think and what colour should I do my knots. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Like I said, I do appreciate everybody that subscribes to my channel. Um, it makes me very happy to know that you're there and that you care. And I will see you all very soon in another video. And when we'll do a bit more of this one as well. So I'll see you later. Bye.